All right, I'm looking at something new today. This is called Periodal. Um, this has been requested by someone quite a few times, and it looks really interesting. So basically, it's like Wordle, but instead of typing in letters, we are picking elements off the periodic table, and it uses their abbreviations. So if we choose carbon, for example, it's a C. If we choose silicon, it's SI. So, um, it's interesting because you can make different lengths of words, I guess. So I suppose it could be anywhere from five to 10 letters, the answer, because uh, I mean, the, the most you can put in a, a cell is two letters um, and the least you can do is one. So um, now there's, I looked briefly at the instructions here. It's a little, it sounds a little confusing, but I think I understand it. So here we go, how to play. So it's like normal Wordle, but there's, Orange, and it's so, yellow means that element is in the answer, but not in that position. Just like usual, except it's not the letter, it's that element. So in the example here, it says copper was the guess. E-R, uh, no, P, sorry. Um, so the colors are a little tricky for me on this one. I'm, I'm having a little trouble with the colors, but uh, I am colorblind for those that don't know that. Uh, so. <laughs> The yellow is the P, so the that element is in the answer, but not in that position, as you'll see here. The ER was green because that element is in the answer, in the right position. Now there's orange letters. Uh, if it's, an element is orange, it's in the word to guess, but the element does not appear. So, for example, the P is in the word but not that element. It's in there because it's part of PR. The I is in the word, but it's in there as part of titanium, TI. And so, and like RA, radium, the element radium is not in the answer, but the letters RA are in the answer word practical. It's just that the R and the A are from different elements that are next to each other. So that's a little bit tricky. I think I understand how that's gonna work, but um, I guess we'll find out. So, uh, I guess, uh, I'm just gonna go for it. I, I don't know what to expect. Um, now we need to know what to start with. I feel like, hmm, I'm wondering if, so, if I guess, say, uh, sodium, right, N-A. If there's an N in the answer, or if there's an A in the answer, this will not help me if sodium is not in the answer. Like, let's say nitrogen is in the answer. Sodium's not gonna help me. Unless it happens to be nitrogen and then something that starts with an A, like aluminum or something, nitrogen, aluminum, then sodium would tell me orange. But on the other hand, if I guess nitrogen and sodium is in the answer, then I'll get an orange on the nitrogen. So I'm wondering if you aren't better off trying single letters at first. We can't quite do bacon. There's no A by itself, I don't think. No. Uh, ooh, interesting how that works. If I do B, it does B. If I do A, it does BA. But then if I do C, there's no... Uh, yeah, okay. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do C-H-O-I, and then I believe there's an element that's C-E. Uh, it would be choice then. Yep, down here. Okay, let's try that. I don't know. I don't really know what to go with, so we're just gonna try that. Okay, now what color is that? I think that's yellow. I hope. This is gonna be a problem. I can't tell the colors on this one. And it doesn't look like there's an option to change the... There's not an option to change the color scheme, so I think that's yellow. Um, so that means that iodine is in the answer. It doesn't mean that it's in the I is in the answer like a nickel. It means that element itself is in the answer. If it was orange, then it would mean like nickel or silicon or titanium or something like that is in there. So there's no C, there's no H, and there's no O. And that means that none of the elements that contain a C, H, or O, can, oh, and in fact, it grayed all those out for us. Okay, perfect. So any element that has the letters C, H, or O 
is no no dice. So um, I think this using single letters is a good plan because it rules out a lot. So it'd be good to do like an S and an N. And there aren't really very many elements, single letter elements that are vowels. There's a U. Let me do S N U. We could do snuck. Uh, it repeats the carbon that we know isn't in there, but I think that would check for a lot of letters. And if and if we get grays, that'll rule out a lot of possibilities. So let's go with that. Okay, so that ruled out a lot. Uh, as you can see on the periodic table over there, there's a lot of grays now because S U C K H O. Um, this is, I think, also yellow. So there's an there is an N, there is an I, but not in those spots. So maybe N I something. What could we do? N I. N I. We could do N I B something like nibble or I don't think there's a B L. I mean, we could do another B and then is there L E? Ah, oh, there's no L E. Okay, wasn't sure. Or we could do I N at the beginning. No, the N can't be second. Okay, we could do something, something, I-N. It looks funny doing my X's as fillers like this. Then what would be at the beginning? Because then we could do, is there a G at the end? There's no G, there's G, G, other things, but we can't do like I-N-G, G what? G-Y, no, G-S. I mean, there's G-E, the G-E, so. No R, is there? Let's say we could do fringe, but I don't think there's there's no R by itself, so we can't do fringe. It's tough when you don't know the length of the word. It's very interesting. We could do like B E. I N G something being something being being what being being slow to solve this puzzle that's what so I mean knowing that I and N are in the answer as single letters means it's at most eight letters long so it's somewhere between five and eight letters long we do F I N A L finally is there L Y I mean we could do we could do finals we know that the S isn't right but it does check new spots for the I and the N it, I mean F is another letter we could eliminate I guess I'm just gonna try that I don't know I don't know uh, so these are green those are green I think right that one's yellow. I think the I and the N are yellow. These three are green. Okay, so we have F, I, N. So, what is it? It's not finger. Because we can do G, E, but then R, who would it be? R, can't be R, S. And we could do something with another N, like N, I or N, A. Uh, N-I is, oh, but there, I was gonna say S-H. We can't do an S at all, so we can't do finish, we can't do... Hmm. It's not finals, obviously. I feel like after the F-I-N, it almost needs to be a G, another N, or a vowel. There aren't that many that start with a vowel, really. There's A, T, A, R. So, I just, I'm not thinking of much with A, R, or A, T. A, M, maybe? So, and there's no other vowels, I don't think. Oh, there's E, R, E, R. Fine, finer? I mean, finer is a word, but we need something else after that. So, 
if it's G, it's got to be G A, G E, which makes me think finger, which doesn't work. G D, I don't think that works. And if you do another N, then I think it's got to go. Well, we could do we could do another nitrogen actually. I think we could do that. Fin. Then you know we could do nickel, but then you would need like an S H, and there's no S. And if we do another N, then again I think we need a vowel at this point. And I don't think. Finner is a word. Fin, dinar. So I don't like that. And there are some that start with an N, like N A or N B or. So I don't think any of those work. Oh, there is I R for another vowel one. Fin. I mean. Could do finny, I guess, with a Y. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm having a hard time thinking of a possibility here, so I might just try that. Finny? Okay. Nope. Nope. So this is the orange, I guess, uh, which means that the the letter is in the word but not there. Yeah. So we already knew that. So it's not not that. So there's T L. Or T I or T E Bind N E Oh but wait, there's no D Ah Fine Finite Is there I T No there's no I T and we can't do I there because we had the yellow I at the top. Otherwise you could do finite. Finite would be really good, but we can't have the I there. And there's no I T I don't think. There's I R. There's I N. Ooh. Is that anything? I don't think so. There is an I N. So there are a few with vowels that I didn't think about, but I N I R. Is there an A N? No, there's no A N. You can say like fine. Oh, there's no C either. We already tried the C E, so it can't be finance. Um. Can we do, I don't know if proper names are allowed. We could do Finland. I don't know, I can't come up with anything else. Let's try that. Oh, that was it. Okay, so apparently proper names are allowed. Is Finland not a, I mean, obviously it's a country. Is it something else besides that? Oh, wow. I don't know. Um, half plus one. I'm not sure what half plus one means, but apparently that's when you get it. Um, wow. That was really tough. Uh, I think the single letters is the way to go. I think that was the smart move because it eliminated so many possibilities, but coming up with something that started with F-I-N was not easy. Now, it's interesting, yeah. So let me know if there's another meaning for that that's not a proper noun, or maybe proper nouns are allowed in this one, so certainly possible. Well, at any rate, that was my first periodal. I solved it in five, but uh, it took me a long time. Uh, so let me know if you've been playing periodal, if this one's harder or easier than the typical, and uh, if there's a better strategy than just guessing the single letters, but... And, uh, and let me know how you do with this period all, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Debate that often comes up. Have you ever referred to something as a vegetable? Maybe a tomato, or a pumpkin, or a cucumber? Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good, so there's gotta be an O. Oh, wondered, wondered. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.